listen up. This is a fix for the application crash on loading for Formula One 2011. So if you're having this problem, this is how you fix it. I am going to load the game real quick so you can see what the problem is. This fix is only for PC users, so I don't know how it will do it for PlayStation 3 and Xbox, but it works with the PC. So here we go. You're launching the game, everything looks normal. But when you get to this part, bam, the game won't load. So this is what you do. Before anything else, make sure that this is the problem that you're having. Make sure that you're compare your crash with this crash right here. So make sure that it looks exactly the same. Otherwise, it won't work. So close that. Go to your documents, my documents. Go to my games or your games. Formula 1 2011 save game folder and the auto save file which is above. You're going to play with these two files, the GTEHX. So what you're going to do is delete the zero one, delete it out of there, say yes. Now you're going to copy the one file and get it out of there, paste it somewhere in the desktop. So I had to paste it before. But I'm just gonna drag it back down here and rename it to zero. So just change it. There you go, zero. copy it or cut it, whatever you want to do and paste it back into the folder there you go, now you got the, both files back in there, so let's do it again real quick so delete that, say so yes copy number one paste it on the desktop or whatever you want rename it to zero and there you go Cut it out of there, paste it back. And there you go. Just close that window, go launch your game. I have Steam, so that's on the PC. I didn't buy it from a store. Just wait for it to load. I have the uh, uh, smaller window so you can see the crash, but it should work no matter what window you have used. You have open you're using. So it's lunch normal, everything's fine. As you know that, I'm just gonna skip all this. There you go. Looking normal, and here's when it's supposed to crash when it's checking your store devices. There you go. So you're good to go. As soon as you see these boards moving, you're good to go, so no panic. The only thing is you gotta go back here to your Formula One file and uh, redo your configuration. So you have to go to your driver controls and reset your profile. So just do all that again. I don't know why it does this, but it doesn't. And you know when you're all finished with all this, uh, there it is, all done. Just get out of there, save it, and you'll be good to go. One other thing that they said that this thing's damage is your online um, history. Apparently it resets whatever you have done online. So until they come up with a patch for this, this is the only way around it. So. I haven't played online too much, I'm just doing the career, so I was doing qualifying and it sent me back to practice. So you probably want to finish your whole race, like doing practice, doing qualifying and do the race 
all in one shot without exiting the game. Otherwise, you will lose qualifying places. And here you are, everything works good. Everything looks the same. We're running some performance tests this session. Try and beat the target time. Alright. So, everything looks alright. I'm just gonna. Let's not push the car my too challenge much in the first again. Few laps. The track's green and there'll be a lack of grip. I have to do my challenges again. I already did all this, so I was a Q3 and I had to exit the game. So I gotta do something and then came back and bam, it was gone. Alright, so that's it. Oh, sent you back to we need TV you to put in some laps so we can see how the car performs. Alright, sent you back to the outside view, so this is what I drive because I have a tri-car IR, it's a little bit easier. Alright people, that's it, I hope it works for you. Um, just remember, this is only for the PC, and make sure you do the whole race at one time. Thanks for watching, drive safe.